let's start the podcast. Let's start the podcast. Okay. Episode 29, the God's Dope Podcast. I'm Sherrod. I'm Jay. Tori. And we're here today to talk about stuff surrounding God is Dope. Uh, we're just going to jump straight into things. We've been having a rough couple weeks, man. It's like we're taking hit after hit after hit. Today, we, um, you dropped one of, one of my favorite collections, a cool collection that we all came up with. And we all mutually thought that it was, it was cool. And it ended up being the worst performing collection of all time. Um, there's no real ways to explain this type of stuff. Um, outside of, it's a disconnect from our audience and what we think is cool. Um, most times when we try to do graphics on shirts, the audience don't really gravitate to that. Um, yeah, I mean, what's your take from it? That, yeah, it's just not what they're looking for. I think sometimes if we play with, with a little bit more creativity, we can get something out of it, but overall, I think it's shown over time and time again when we try to take it too far, or to what at least we personally are into, or have been inspired by, it just kind of goes over their head. It's better for us to stick with like a different phrase, simple font. I, I guess it's just like when you buy into a brand, like this is why I bought into this. And then when the brand releases something totally different, I guess you could compare it to listening to an artist. Like if I, if I listen to a rap but artist, then, but he starts putting out rock albums, like I'm not really gonna mess with it. But then it's like, okay, we do that, right? But then we just go back to changing colors and then people get tired of that too. So it's yeah. Like, it's just customer exhaustion. Like, we just need we more people need, in the... We just need more people, right? More people. Um, but we were just talking about the, uh, the email because we didn't do a text today about it and we were talking about the deliverability of the email. And Shroud was concerned about whether or not people are even getting like the full scope of the email or if it's being opened and clicked on. And... Clavio's analytics are pretty spot on in my opinion and we've had their people double check our account to make sure we're not doing anything that can jeopardize our, our sending, right? So off, off of today's email, we sent the email to 588,000 people. We had a 10% open rate, which for God is dope is like, I would say high average to average. We've had 15%, 20% in the past, but on average I would say it's like a 10 to 14% open rate. Um, the click rate, however, was 0.7%. So that was 3,800 people. That's easily the worst click rate we've ever had. And that's where it, usually you can make your assumptions based off of opening rate equals the headline wasn't attractive. Because that's all you're getting. Click rate equals what I saw wasn't attractive. If they click, so if click rate's high but then conversion's low, then it's like what pricing or shipping something along the actual website experience disrupted that purchase. And that's a good learning, you know, point for people that um, do email marketing and got brands, how they can gauge what the problem is and troubleshoot. Mm -hmm. You know, if y'all just go back and listen to what he just said about that. Uh, yeah, I, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm beat. We're gonna figure it out. Yeah, I can't do nothing but figure it out, so. Yeah, we can't do nothing but figure it out. <laughs> Can yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's just a situation where, like, you know, like over the course of a month, we'll have these moments. You know what I'm saying? The collection won't do good that we thought would do good, and, you know, we'll have bad days, but it's just everything is happening right now at the same time, back to back to back to back, you know. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just interesting. Yeah. But I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna come out of it. And you know, I've just never really documented a time this, like, this, that was this bad before. We've had like tough days or a tough couple of days, but like we've been going two weeks where I'm just like, who are we? Like, we're, like you know. In this case, I think the lesson is just to know your audience. And like, you know, the numbers are gonna tell you what the people want. 
What's one thing that we did that was kind of like creative and cool that we liked that the audience liked as well? What was the last thing that we did that was like, oh, this is cool? I would say when we tie in, sorry, the love a little more. Yeah. I think that was the last thing that. Oh yeah. I was gonna say when we tie in like a phrase, and if the phrase is a creative thing, we can put a spell on the yeah, phrase. Yeah, that was that was that was the first time we did general phrases, and we just never did it again since then. Yeah. I thought of one yesterday, but I, now I, it'll come back to me. There was one I, I, I should have texted you. I was like, we should do that one first. But I think if we can take like, like we all want to be creative. Like it's fun to come up with a dope design, but we have to marry it to what people are okay. Like from us, like maybe they do want creative stuff, but not from God stuff. Maybe they're just looking for this one specific thing. But we, I think we can find a happy medium where it can be the phrases and creativity or slight differences. Cause even like, I mean, mo more creative moments that aren't that crazy have been like the uh, closed on Sunday. Like we took the box, like that was early on in a playing around with the box logo. Right. One of the earlier patterns, right? Um, Juneteenth was, uh, last year was uh, another early pattern where we took the box and incorporated some color. And then we did that all like up until this point. So. Yeah, like, that's on brand, but some little different. Yeah, I think it's like a slight variation of what they're uh, accepting of. You can push it in that way, but I think where we took it with this, and like for example, the car collection, like the NASCAR inspired thing, so that things like that. that. I mean, NASCAR did better than this. Yeah. So that was a bad day. Yeah, but NASCAR yeah. did better than this. All right, so moving on to work-life balance. I'll text Jay this morning. I was just talking to him about um, how I admire him because Jay gonna work, but Jay gonna play. Yeah. Twice as hard. <laughs> And I mean, you know, that's something that I never really mastered and it, you know, it cost me a lot in life. It cost me my marriage, it cost me friends, family, you know. And you sometimes wonder, is like, is it all worth it in the end, you know? I mean, I'm still young, you know, so this is not the end. Yeah, you you're, know. You're young. But, you know, like, you go through stuff and you, you start to question it, like, is it, is it worth it, you know? Um, what's your take on work-life balance? I think as long as you're hitting the goals that you set out to hit and you set expectations for yourself, you deserve to enjoy yourself. It's important to have work-life balance because it also brings exactly what it is, like balance into the equation where burnout's a real thing, like where you just work so hard you get totally burnt out and then get it turned off to the, to the idea of doing this thing that you once really enjoyed or loved. So I think incorporating some fun and like whatever that may be, like it doesn't mean partying. Uh, if that's your work-life balance and party up, if it's like working out, uh, spending time with your family, taking a vacation, like whatever, whatever balances it out for you, I think it's just super important to incorporate into your like lifestyle. I mean, I, like for me, you know, for a while and even to this day, I have so much fun, you know what I'm saying, doing this, like yeah. coming here, like creating, to the point where I don't, I wrote something yesterday, I was just like, I don't want to go on vacation because I don't want to miss out on the fun. Yeah. Being on vacation, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I have more fun here than being on vacation. Yeah. What's your take on, because I, like Tori, I be like I was. I think I might have mentioned it before. Like I be feeling, like I used to feel sorry for Tori. He's gotten better, you know what I'm saying, over the last few months. But I used to feel sorry for him. I used to come in the factory and it'd be like 11:30, Tori being there like with his head on the desk sleep or on the main bag knocked out, you know. And then I'd be like, nah, that's how I used to be. You know what I'm saying? Like just in it, you know what I'm saying? And wake up and get right back to it. But over the past few months, I've seen him kind of like take his, I won't say take his foot off the gas, but like 
have a life, like not be here all day, yeah, get here a little was, late, you know. Yeah, last few months realized you like, Jay was saying like you, you can do both. And I mean, my first like year and a half of being here, like for the brand say, and like really personally, it was like I'm trying to get myself to a certain point where I can just like really relax. And the stuff I do now, I mean, you know, be playing basketball, going to the gym, working out, go eat, like enjoy the weekend a little bit. Like yeah. um, I probably had the the most like time to myself in the last like six months since like last it's like October November, well a little bit longer six months. But it took me like the first half of that, it took me like three months to really figure out like what I'm gonna do. It's like at, like in October that was my first time like in a year and a half, well even longer than that because I was in the malls and stuff back then. So I'm saying the last six years that was my first time having a weekend. Cause so I was like it took me like three months to really figure out what I'm gonna do on the weekend. <laughs> and then I started going to the... It was all new? Yeah, it was just new. Like, yeah. Yeah, so... But, um... We're like balance wise. I just feel like it's... I think it's important to a certain extent. But, um... I mean, like, it's, it's super important. But I feel like that... I wouldn't trade... Like, nothing that happened, I wouldn't trade it off. Like, all them times of me, like, going super hard was... It was needed at that time period. And now it's like... It's definitely needed now. Well, the way, like, the way I'm doing now, like working out, going to the gym, doing stuff on the weekend, it's like for like where my mindset is now, what I'm trying to do, it's like better for me to be on that. Cause if I was just doing the same things before, like working those type of hours, I'll, I feel like I'd be less productive than I am now. And like from like my current moment, where I'm trying to go, like where we're trying to go as a brand, it's like me being here from like morning to like all the way through the night, I don't think that's good for me or like what we're trying to do. So right. I feel like I've been able to come up with more stuff and do more stuff with having that, that balance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I tell people all the time, man, like this ain't for the week. Like if you want to be an entrepreneur, you have to like, you have to love it. You know what I'm saying? More than anything in the world, you got to really, really want it. And it's just like, it's like the mama mentality, you know what I'm saying? No pun intended. I, you know, I am wearing Kobe, you know, and do like do, just from a show of hands here. Do anybody feel like they got that mentality, like the mama mentality? Oh yeah, I mean, like no, you don't have to. Like if 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 you if you don't have it, you don't have to have it. Like everybody ain't got it. It's, 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 it's probably like. Do you mean like the specific same kind of mama mentality that? made Kobe Bryant and just people like him. Like, like Kobe, yeah. Kobe just sacrificed everything for, you know what I'm saying? I would say, like, few people in the world have that. Yeah, very few. Like, yeah. <laughs> if, if we're in a room with this many people and, and five people raise their hand, somebody I lying. I ain't, yeah, I'm not going to point no fingers and say who it is, but somebody lying. I, ain't, I don't know who it is, but, like, and if, if y'all not lying, then we got a team full of winners. You know what I'm saying? You know, but... Um, Mamba mentality is like, to me, if something not right, it ain't no clock. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't figure something out, it's not, uh, it's time for me to go. For me. I feel like it's like, what we're talking about work-life balance, it's like, that's something that some people may need. Someone with that mama mentality, like, doesn't need work-life balance. Like, it's right. just like, it just is what it is, right. and there's no but like downside. What can we say in that? In that are you? <laughs> the same animal, but a different beast. Right, right. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. What does that even mean, Kobe Bryant? No. <laughs> but that's you know like that's when I when I think of mama mentality, that's what I think. Like somebody that's just like, you know, like some like something's not right. You might not figure it out that day, but she, like, just because the bell rang, you ain't going home. Like, you, you here, you trying to figure it out. You, all right, let me work until, until I get this right, until I figure this, whatever needs to be figured out, out. Um, yeah, but, yeah, Kobe was special. Yeah. I think with work-life balance also, just the way it's phrased, it sounds to a lot of people like it has to be equal. Like it means like 50% work, 50% life. Like I think it's just whatever balance you find. Like if even if that's like 99 to one, like just you stepping outside and like taking a five minute walk, like whatever it is to you, that's your balance. 
Yeah. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. Like a whole like, oh no, I I have to chill half the time and then work half like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Like as long as you, as long as you get the job done, whether you got the mentality or not. But I was just wondering, just off who felt like they had it, had that in them. Yeah, if y'all got it in y'all, y'all some beasts. I mean, time gonna tell. But um, yeah, Guys Dope Podcast, episode 29. Nine. We out.